Hey there, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd. Welcome to a new year. And I wanted to start by giving you five of my top tips for the new year if you're tackling your garden in a different way this year or the same. But one quick announcement before we get to that. My debut novel, Garden Variety, hits bookstores on February 1st. Go to GardenNerd.com for more information about upcoming events and book signings. All right, now on with the show. Here are my five top tips for the new year. Number one, try a new variety. And I mean new to you variety. It doesn't have to be like a brand new variety that's just been developed. I mean something you haven't grown before. For me, it's always I lean in the direction of something purple. Because if it's purple, I need to have it in my garden. Like black nebula carrots or uh, purple savoy cabbage or dazzling blue kale which is has become a mainstay in my garden but maybe you've never grown it give it a try you'll you'll learn something new and you'll have fun as you grow it and it'll be pretty in your garden number two succession planting now i don't know about you but for me it is the hardest thing in the world to not plant every square inch of my raised beds all at once so try if you can to save a little bit of space for a second round of radishes lettuces root veggies like beets or maybe even peas or beans this summer uh, for me i like to plant something quick like radishes or arugula or cilantro and then as soon as that comes out plant a second crop of something else that i know i'm going to need for a couple of months so try that out make room for it save some space if you can if you don't have space then plan strategically to make sure that you end up with something new in your garden and the space is planted all the time number three grow something native now that's going to look different depending on where you live but for me it's uh, i'm using california native plants like california poppies or phacelia or California native milkweed, something native to where you live, will attract the pollinators and support the life around your garden, around your ecosystem. I don't know if you've ever heard this term, it's called the carrying capacity, and certain like oak trees have a huge carrying capacity where they feed a lot of birds and other insects and house uh, worms for those birds, etc., etc. So you wanna choose plants particularly native plants that have a high carrying capacity for the other animals, insects, and wildlife in your, in your neighborhood or in your hardiness zone. So do your research, check with your native plant society and choose a native plant to include in your garden this year. Number four, and you hear this from me a lot, feed your soil. And then what I mean by that is when you are about to apply some soil amendments or fertilizers to your garden, think about feeding the soil rather than feeding the plants. It's a really good idea to apply compost, compost tea, and worm castings. Those are my top three because they help revitalize the, the microbial life in your soil. And that makes it so you almost don't even have to add fertilizer to grow food. So I don't know if you can see behind me, I've got this abundant patch of stuff growing. I have not fertilized at all this season. Just added compost before I started planting and I've been watering when we get rain with rainwater and that is adding nitrogen to the soil. So think about feeding your soil rather than your plants when you amend your garden beds before you start planting this season. And lastly, number five, and this one's kind of fun, and you may have heard me say this before, but it, it bears repeating because not everybody knows this yet, is that tomato hornworms are black light reactive. That's right, if you take a black light out into your garden at night and shine it on your tomato plants, tomato hornworms glow under that light. So they're really easy to find. Don't waste your time searching for them during the day. You'll never find them. You'll only see the damage. So just do it at night. <laughs> it's so much easier. And I do have another video about searching in your garden at night with a black light for tomato hornworms so you can watch that i'll post a link in the description below 
So those are my top tips for the new year for your garden. I hope you enjoyed them. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can find out when our next video comes online. For more information about growing your own food, go to GardenNerd.com. And of course, consider becoming a Patreon subscriber to support all the free stuff that we do here at Garden Nerd. You'll find more information about growing your own food not only at GardenNerd.com, but in my books, Gardening for Geeks and Grow Your Own Mini Fruit Garden. And don't forget to check out my new novel, debut novel, that's fiction for those of you who aren't sure. It's called Garden Variety and it's set in a community garden in Los Angeles and follows the kind of crazy cast of characters and what happens when you put them together in tight quarters. All right, have fun, happy new year, and happy gardening.